Well lads, how are things? I'm just going to do a quick install video of the Givi or Jivi MT505 Metro T tank lock tank bag. Um, it's a 5 litre tank bag, it fits most motorbikes, um, you just need a specific mounting kit, so um, depending on what bike you have, so I'll be fitting it on a 2018 Yamaha MT07. So the specific kit for that is called the Givi DF36. Um, just do your own research um, on what bike you have. I think the one here um, fits the 2018 and 2019 MT07s. If you have a version before the 2018, I think you, there's a specific fitting kit. It's, it'll be Givi BF something I'd imagine. So do your own research for that. But this one right here on the table is everything you're gonna need. Um, you've got this kind of main steel part. I'm assuming a steel that will be going, holding the whole thing in place. You have these two small systems here and you have the bolts, they all come with it. You have the three longer bolts and two smaller bolts up top here. These are gonna be basically going into where the um, original bolts for where that kind of little fuel cap is on your bike. You have five spacers and five crush washers. They're used with those. And then you have these four smaller bolts with four kind of plastic washers. Um, and all you need is a set of Allen keys. I think all you need is a, is a size four mil and a three mil as far as I'm aware. So um, this is the actual tank bag itself. I'll go through that in more detail once I've kind of got the main part fitted on the bike. So yeah, I'll join you when I'm at the fitting part. Right lads, to start off, you're gonna to need to take out these five bolts that are kind of holding the fuel cap. Well, they're not holding it in place. They're just kind of a fuel cap cover. Uh, for this, you need a four mil um, Allen key. So just get that out. These come out pretty easy. Um, you'll have three large bolts, two small ones. You'll see them as they come out. The larger ones are the top and the two bottom ones. And then these two ones on the side are smaller bolts. So just gonna take these out first to start the uh, install. Obviously make sure to put these aside if you do want to uh, put this back on. Um, for me, I probably will keep them because I don't think I'll run the tank bag system all the time. Um, I'll do it obviously when I'm going on longer trips, but uh, day to day I probably won't use it. So that's the three bigger ones out. So now you just need to get the two smaller ones. So you can see they're, they're a lot smaller than, than the ones you just took out. So very easy to distinguish between which belong where. Okay, so now that your uh, five fuel tank bolts are out, what you want to do is you want to get these spacers and you get five of them. So just plop that in there because the bolts that they give you are longer than the stock ones. So they just obviously need a bit of space there. So just drop all five of them in, pretty simple. They just kind of stay in place until you put the screws in. Right, so now that you've got the five spaces in place, what you want to do is you want to take the main metal part um, and line it up with those holes there. Um, for Before you put this on, just make sure the kind of circular rubber parts are touching your tank and the kind of pointier rubber parts are facing up. It's pretty easy to know if you put it on wrong or right because it, it won't obviously fit like that. So just uh, line them up with the holes. What you want to do then is you want to get your bolts um, that came with the supply and so you get the three larger ones and two smaller ones. You want to put these little kind of crush washers on them. So simple as that. And um, if you remember from the start, the larger ones go on the very top um, and on the bottom right and bottom left. Just drop the bolt there, so I need to grab that. Um, I'm in my house, so it's actually fine and over there. Um, so another larger bolt then is here, the last one. And then the two smaller ones, so you have one on the right and one on the left. And I'll just need to pick up that crush washer that I dropped. Ow, my fucking toe. So yeah, that's the last one there, the crush washer's on. And then once they're in place, you take a three mil um, Allen key and just kind of slowly tighten them into place. Um, pretty hard, like I don't think you can actually misalign this. It stays straight from the way you've, you've put the, the mounting system on. So tighten it all down as much as you want and then obviously give them the fi final turn so they're tight. Right, so now you've got the main system kind of secure in place. What you want to do then is you want to take this kind of ring part and you want to make sure that the kind of completely curved inner circle is facing towards the rider. 
So it lines up pretty easily along the bottom here. The rubber grommets kind of fit in place there. And you can see then you've got these four bolts to slot in place. Um, it's going to adjust the camera a bit there. No, sorry, just so you can see this a bit better. Um, so yeah, you've got that in place. And what you want to do then is you want to take this kind of insert and it fits pretty well, obviously you can't miss. It's like a jigsaw, you just line it up, slot straight into place there with the, the rubber grommets. And then you have these four bolts to put in. So these ones obviously again came with the, the kit. They come with these kind of plastic uh, washers. So just kind of slot them in there gently first. And just slowly fill up each of the four holes. And again, I think these are uh, four mil again. So you go back to four mil. Oh no, they're not, that's a three mil I have in my hand. They are four mil, sorry. So you just slide that in and tighten them into place once they're, you're happy with the positioning of them. Obviously make sure they line up before you tighten them down. Um, but you can't really get this wrong, to be honest with you. Everything does line up pretty, pretty sweetly from the package, like there's no forcing anything. It just falls into the place. You can tell that it's trials and tested, trialed and tested and, and made to, to work, so. Again, you just give them a final tighten once you're happy with the positioning of them. And there you go. And that's the actual main part installed, the actual fitting system. So yeah, that's the actual fitting system in place. As you can see there, without checking the camera too much, it's pretty secure. Um, what you wanna do is you wanna keep your original five bolts that came from your um, fuel cap and just put them away in case you wanna take this off. But we're actually gonna go ahead and fit the actual tank bag on and show you how easy it is to do. Um, so this is Givy's tank lock system. You've got these, this kind of um, rings here that slide into it here, and this is how you disconnect it. You just pull this tab and it moves the springs, but fitting it on is simple. All you do is literally just line it up with it, and as soon as you hear the click, that's it. It's on there now, it's not gonna move. Um, handy thing about this one here is you have this little uh, thing here for cables to go through, and I've recently installed, a, I don't know if you can see this here, I've recently installed a USB here um, so I'll be able to link up wires from here into here to charge things, um, which will be very, very handy. Um, but that's what it looks like fit. I'm just gonna go ahead and see if I can maneuver this around and take a look. So there it is now fit on the 2018 Yamaha MT-07. Um, again, tank bags are always gonna look somewhat intrusive, um, but this one actually looks kind of slick to be honest. I do like it. It's got great storage. For me, it's kind of gonna be used for camera equipment etc because that's going to be my, my main thing for using it for and just like total money and snacks and whatever sorry i'm filming this inside the apartment and um, i don't really have a garage at the moment or anything so the actual bag itself you've just got one um the strap there and then you've got zips that go all the way around the sides and we'll open it up here and that's the bag so a bit of space um you've got a phone cover here You've got a little zip here for internal pockets and I keep the rainproof storage thing in here. I'll take that out and show you that actually. The rainproof is, is quite handy. It rolls up quite small um, and it literally fits over the whole system. I'll show you that in a second actually. But this is the bag. You've got two side pockets. Um, you know, they're, they're shallow enough but they'll be handy for throwing small things into. Um, but in this you can fit quite a lot in five liters to be honest, which I was kind of shocked. I can fit my drone in here with a controller as well as uh, spare GoPro batteries, etc. Um, I'm not going to use the phone because I already have the quad lock mounting system. That's where my phone is going to be. Unless it's horrendous rain and my phone will really get water damaged. I'll throw it in here. And again, you have the other side pocket on that side. Same as the other one. Um, just going to close it up here again. And going to show you um, basically what it's like to put the waterproof system onto it. It's, it's pretty handy. I'll see if I can just set this camera back up um, where I had it there when I was doing the install. All right, so hopefully that's in focus. So. The rainproof um, kit then is, is very handy. It rolls up quite small and all you literally do is you stretch it over it. Obviously, just make sure you line it up correctly. You've got two lines. They'll obviously go down the length of the bag. Just pull it over one end. Make sure you kind of grab underneath it. Pull it around and there you go. Like just obviously fidget with it to fix all the corners. But like to me, that's that's got some really good coverage for a rainproof thing. It goes on as easy as that. Like that's not gonna let any rainproof, any rain through, sorry. Um, and obviously if you ride in Ireland, you know, that's, that's really important. So I think that's a very good addition. Um, obviously it'd be ideal if it was waterproof originally without a layer, but for me, just a, a guaranteed waterproof layer is enough and quickly easy takeoff as well. 
fold it back up and roll it and keep it inside that's what i do and as i said for taking it off then you just have the little system here so you push the tab and you can lift it's easy as that um didn't realize how easy it would be to get on as i said it's kind of the ring system rest in place as soon as you hear the click you know it's in place and again taking it off to be honest with you that's that's so handy um and to be honest as i said it doesn't look the worst on the mt07 it's going to be very handy for the longer tours um hope this install video helped a few people to be honest with you it's it's a really easy install like anybody can do it it's a couple of bolts with allen keys um again that's what it looks like on the 2018 yamaha mt07 doesn't sit that far ahead when you're actually sitting on the bike as well so you need to focus again i'm filming this inside the apartment um probably i don't know if you could still fuel up there no you could get away with it you could still get your fuel tank up and push that back a bit so that's handy you don't have to take it off every time you need to fuel up um, but again yeah thanks for watching lads hope this helped i will see you in the next one all the best